Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial we are going to see, how to create, cinematic trailer title animation in After Effects. So let's see the preview. To perform this tutorial, you need, your text, and metal scratch image, you can download it from below link in the description. Just like previous tutorial, we have used the Saba plugin, similarly, we are going to use the Saba plugin in this tutorial also. So you need to download the Saba plugin for free from below link in the description. So without any wait let's start creating our trailer title animation. Create a new composition. Let's name it as trailer title. Set time duration to 5 seconds. Now here we need to add our text. Let's start adding our text. Here I am using Futura font family. You can download it from below link in the description. Now let's align the text to center. Now we need to pre-compose our text. Let's do it. Name this composition as text. Now add the metal image to the timeline. Place it below the text composition. Now press S to bring up the scale. Scale the image file to fit the screen. For the image layer, change track matte to alpha matte text. Now let's create a duplicate of text composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create a duplicate. Now make the composition visible. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add fill to duplicate text composition. Change fill color to solid black. Now in effects and preset, Search for Bevel Alpha. Add Bevel Alpha to duplicate text composition. Now let's change the light angle, change it to near about 120 degree. Perfect. Now for text composition, change mode to add. Now again create a duplicate of text composition. Now select all the layers. Let's pre-compose them. Name the composition as animate text. Now change animate text composition to 3D. Now let's create a new solid. Let's name it as Saba. Now change the Saba layer to 3D. Now to this solid layer, we will add the burning effect. So now go to layer, in video copilot, select Saba. Now for this demonstration, we will select preset burning. Now go to customize core. We need to change core type to the text layer. You can see the Saba effect is not applied to the composition. So we will add our text and apply it to the text. So open the text composition. Copy the text layer. Now paste it in the trailer title composition. Let's place it below the Sabal layer. You can hide the text layer. This text layer will be the guidance layer for our burning effect. Now in Sabal layer. 
change the text layer to our main text. Now you can see. This effect is added to the whole text. Let's slightly reduce the glow intensity. Change it to 35%. Now make sure, you are at start of the timeline. Let's create a keyframe for mask evolution. Now go at 3 seconds. Change mask evolution to 200 degrees. Now come back to 5 frames. Create a keyframe for start offset. Now go at 1 second and 10 frames. Change start offset value to 10%. Now create a keyframe for end offset. Change end offset value to 0%. Now go at 2 second and 5 frames. Change end offset value to 10%. Let's change the text layer to 3D. For sable layer, let's change mode to add. For fast preview, you can change preview mode to quarter. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new camera layer. Now create an null object. Change null object to 3D. For camera layer, parent it to the null object. Now for null object, press P to bring up the position. Now go at 2 seconds. Create a keyframe for position. Now come back to start of the timeline. Now let's change the position value of Z axis, change it as shown. Now select the end keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset search for, wiggle position. Add wiggle position to the adjustment layer. Make sure you are at the start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for wiggle speed. Change wiggle speed value to 2. Now go at 2 seconds. Change wiggle speed value to 5. Now come back to 15 frames. Create a keyframe for wiggle amount. Change wiggle amount value to 0. Now go at 1 second. Change wiggle amount value to 3. Now go at 3 seconds. Change wiggle amount value to 0. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset search for curves. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now slightly adjust the curves as shown. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our trailer title animation is complete. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then make sure to like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.